Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Benz TV. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and please subscribe. Hit that bell so you can get some notifications for new exclusive content. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create your first music video. About a little about gear, and we're also going to be talking about video treatments. Pretty much planning out your shoots before going out and shooting. Now, let's roll the intro. By myself i've been doing photos and videos since i was 15. i started working with fading sky photography which they taught me a lot of the technical stuff when we're talking about you know shutter speed or iso or white balance and all that stuff which i'm gonna go a little bit into today i'm not gonna go too much in depth but i'm just gonna give you the recipe and what you need to make your videos crisp then from there at high school i was in a media broadcast class where i started doing a lot of editing and i learned how to use final cut pro then from there it's just like i i was taking this as a hobby a year from now it's actually became a business of mine which i'm very happy to have started and i'm in a well place you know what i'm saying i'm doing what i love and this is another part that why i'm doing this is because I know a lot of kids out here, a lot of people that are talented here in Augusta, where I'm residing at, where I shoot most of my videos at. I want them to stand up and create more content out here. Like, it's possible, you know. I know how it is to feel like it's not possible, but, you know, it really takes somebody to really, like, go against the grain and be like, you know, let's go ahead and make this happen. And just getting up and doing it, you know what I'm saying? That's enough about me, and let's get on with the video. All right, so number one, the first thing you will need is a camera. It doesn't matter what kind of camera you got. I shoot, I started shooting videos with a laptop, you know what I'm saying, with, a lip, with the front camera of a laptop and it was horrible. But that's not the point. The point is actually taking the videos, taking your shots, putting them on post and working with them and creating it in a video editing software. Once you put all that footage into a video editing software and know how to work it and use it better, there's no possible way that you could get any worse. You just get better and better and better as you keep going. Use your cell phone. Your cell phone nowadays got 1080p. You could change your frames per second on your phone most of the times and that makes a huge difference on image quality if you really pay attention to a movie video that is shot at a tv station anything shot for sports if you keep watching it and you keep working with frames per second you're gonna see a lot of huge differences and for example like my iphone you could change the frame rate I even have a video of myself that I shot with my phone doing my music stuff and I have nobody to shoot it for me so I shot it myself and I'll leave a link in the bottom so you could go ahead and check it out. Let me explain a little bit about frames per second. When you're shooting at 24 frames per second, 124 frames per second pretty much mimics this real life movement right here. Right now I'm shooting this video at 24 frames per second. At 24 frames, you will feel like the picture is looking more cinematic because that's what they use in movies. Now, when you're shooting one second at 60 frames, it kind of gives the picture a non natural look. It doesn't feel normal. But I've seen them use 60 frames per second when somebody is performing on a video and then slow it down. But I think the only reason why you should even be using 60 frames per second is to slow down B-roll and to slow down anything that you will want to slow down and later in post. Now, the only reason why I'm telling you to slow things down at 60 frames because it's impossible to do at 24. It's possible, but it's going to come out choppy. It's going to come out like, you know, like a robot, like in pieces and stuff. And you don't want that. <laughs> That's why it's important to talk about frame rate, because when I first started shooting, I didn't know that. I was shooting things at 30 frames per second, and 30 is more like a home video kind of look. Or like if you're shooting like for a TV. So at 24 frames per second, whenever somebody's rapping or, you you know, you're getting performance shots, your quality of video is already going to look better, like right off the rip. Second thing I want to talk about white balancing to so always have a piece of white paper like this And have another side of Prince printer paper like this you see how in this image this paper actually looks white And that's what you want to do what end up happening a lot of times is that a lot of people end up shooting at Let's say at nighttime or under a yellow light and they don't correct their white balance So people start looking yellow on their faces and things that are looking white are starting to look yellow 
Now, the second thing I want to talk to you is about gear. Gear, I didn't really start buying any tripods or gimbals, anything else. I started really just learning how to shoot handheld a lot. I didn't buy a gimbal until I bought a 50 millimeter for my T6. When you're using it handheld, you're gonna see a lot of shake. If you wanna take videos and you want it to look smooth and it glides, then you're gonna pair it with a gimbal. And if you're really serious about shooting videos, just invest in it, man. Investing on yourself to get yourself into bigger and better things, you need to invest in your equipment. But like I said, this video is for things that you have available now and you just wanna go out and do it. Now, I do wanna talk about one more thing. I wanna talk about camera angles. Do your homework on camera angles. You know, this is just a tip that I wanna to add to this video. I didn't really wanna saturate it too much, but camera angles are very important. Camera angles are important because they invoke emotions. I'm gonna give you two of the most important camera angles that you could find. One is actually shooting from lower to top. It shows the impression that the person has power. You know what I'm saying? Like if you ever seen mafia movies or anything like that, you see the cameras are usually shot from bottom to top. And I see a lot of people use that in music videos that also shows the person more power. Now, when you're shooting from the top to bottom, you should just burst eye view. You're pretty much showing vulnerability. You know what I'm saying? You kind of show that in a part where, you know, somebody's hurt or somebody's in pain or anything like that. You show it from that angle. Learn your close-ups, your medium shots, your long shots, your wide shots, your establishing shots. Very important in cinematography. I cannot stress that enough. All right, now that we talked about camera angle, we could talk about planning. This is something that I wish I knew when I was starting out as a videographer. You know, you got this image in your mind that you're like, okay, you have the story in your head. You're thinking about your next shot and boom, 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 and you're ready to go. But when you get to the setting, the setting is not quite how you envision it. Maybe you don't have all the things required that you were thinking in your mind. It's not there. There's plenty of things that could go, you know what I'm saying? So it's very important to sit down and kind of plan out what you're going to do or if for example if like if things don't happen to show up like as planned then you kind of have like a plan b so you could go on that one it's literally just keeping yourself organized you know what i'm saying when you go out of shoot you know you kind of want to keep yourself as organized as possible and kind of follow the rules and now in order to create that what i you i will do something super simple we're going to create running gun music videos right now we're not going to create stories so for creating a run and gun music video, super simple. First, you will have to find the locations that you're gonna shoot in. How many locations are you gonna have in there? You're gonna have location one, two, and three. Or if you're just using two locations, locations one and two. I usually write an intro or an outro. How the video is gonna start and how the video is gonna end. On location one, you're gonna write down your performance. Your performances are where pretty much your artist is going to rap. There's no B-rolls or no nothing. B-rolls is everything and en everything else that enhances the story or just like enhances the music video or whatnot. It's it's you know could be trees, the dog, the front of the house, the janitor, whatever. That's that's B-roll. And usually you want to shoot B-roll at 60 frames per second. Anyway, performance one, medium shot. You gonna shoot the dude throughout the whole song. First, second, or third verse, no matter how many verses he has, you're gonna shoot the first one throughout the whole thing. Second shot, you're gonna do a close up of him, or not just a close up here, maybe, you know, chest to up, you know, you move around, do these movements, then you shoot those both at 24 frames per second. Now, performance three, you shoot it at 60 frames per second. Now those you could use, You could. I usually do a medium shot of those because eventually I'll do like a speed ramp or like I'll slow it down and post it in some parts, in some instance that I might need them. Second location you do the same exact thing. You do a medium shot, performance, 24 frames per second. Second shot, close up, 24 frames per second. Third shot, 60 frames per second. Boom. And that's how you create your first music videos. Once you have those pieces, make sure you take some B-roll. Take some B-roll of the house, B-roll of the artist just chilling, B-roll whatever's going on. Then you go into the mute in the editing part, and then that's a whole different video. Grab everything, cut them up, and how which way it looks good. Add the B rolls, add the slow motions, 
add all this or you know whatever you want to add and boom there you go you got your recipe and you just created your first music video hope this helps and future videos i will be talking more about more on the technical side this video was solely for people to you know grab a camera let's go and start shooting i want to see more talented kids adults anybody that would love doing videos even if it's not just for music videos if it's just like for film or tv or any of that stuff to pick up the camera and just do it all right i'll see you guys on the next one this is brian and we out Peace.